The Airbus A321XLR takes another bold step towards a higher production rate. Before we dive deeper, if you're new here, please do subscribe. Also, check out the official new One Sky Flyer Instagram page linked in the comments below for more great plane spotting photos. So what's this about? Well, unlike normal aircraft, final assembly where the first aircraft is usually assembled from the first parts at a slower production rate, initially for a manufacturer to learn the manufacturing processes on the spot, in turn usually leading to overweight aircraft for the early prototypes. For the XLR, Airbus is looking to develop, quote, and early maturity for design, production, training, and maintenance. They are doing this through 3D digital data such as virtual reality, augmented reality, as well as 3D modeling. They are also resorting to using wooden mockups of 3D printed parts and more recently, full-scale production prototypes. This is part of Airbus's push to digitalize their aircraft production lines, which will allow for high rates of productions right from the start. Airbus sees a mature digitalized production process as being key before they can launch their next new single out given they want to produce up to 100 aircraft per month right from the start. Airbus says this will help secure a steeper ramp up. The new A321 XLR has several changes over the regular A321 Neo, increasing the time and complexity of assembling each aircraft. A new water, new waste tank, new landing gear, new brakes, new modified flaps, but most importantly, a new permanent rear central tank integrated into the fuselage. This changes the loads on the aircraft slightly, meaning new structural reinforcements are needed for the XLR. Following demonstrators for design production, Airbus will run demonstrators for maintenance, repair and customer support teams. The support airlines maintenance requirements and create the technical documents. Airbus has not announced a first flight date, but expect the first flight to be close to end 2021 or early 2022 for EIS by late 2022 to early 2023. With an incredible 4,700 nautical miles of range and commonality with other A320 NEO versions, the XLR is the lowest risk solution for airlines to grow in the medium long haul market, but only if Airbus gets the production and reliability right, right from the start. Thanks for tuning in and a final reminder to check out the official new One Sky Fly Instagram page linked in the comments below for more great plane spotting photos. Till we meet next time, one team, one aviation, one sky ahead.